Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showcasing the absolute best creative practice maps to help you improve at Fortnite. These maps will include new aim trainers that are arguably better than Kovacs, movement courses that will punish you for taking bad peaks, I'm even going to show you a late game solo and duo zone worst map, the OG lucky one you've heard about, that every single pro player and their mother has been grinding. So as always, make sure to drop a like down below if you enjoy, all the creative practice map codes will be down in the description as well as on the top of the screen but without further ado let's get right on into it all right so to start off we are going to look at that amazing movement course it is actually from a guy named slyjack i've mentioned him in a few different videos he makes amazing tips and tricks videos and i guess he's been making these movement courses as well as just like creative maps in general this is the advanced peaking movement course version 2 and this map i've showed a few different movement courses in the past this map clears all of them by like a mile it is so much fun and it will make you so much better so this is the map when you load in it is extremely simple very reminiscent of like a xanax 60 map if you guys know him you're a real one but i will start it because i have no friends <sighs> To be fair, it is a solo map. I mean, most of them kind of are, which is why I'm putting them in here. And right when you actually start it, you have two different difficulties. I'm gonna start with the normal mode. I kind of recommend you guys to do the hard mode, but it's easier to understand how the whole map works with the normal mode. We then have four different options, as well as the ability to go and change the difficulty. The four of them read ramping in front, above, and below. I'll do the ramping first, just because it's kind of my favorite. But how this works, I'm gonna explain as well as do it. You're gonna piece up a guy who will spawn on the ramp. Oh no, I'm gonna... Ah, okay, 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 chill, chill, chill. How it should work, though, is as that guy spawns, you're gonna run up, you're gonna build, and you're gonna piece him. But as you go to piece him, you wanna do it behind cover where he basically cannot see you. Otherwise, as you saw, I took damage from, like, behind. Not even just from him shooting. And that was because it was basically a bad peek, and he saw me. So, like, the map, the map is designed to punish you for bad peeks. Let me just kill him, okay? Again, it's the same scenario, just with the ramp flipped the other way. I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna piece it. Oh, that was a bad peek, apparently. I'm gonna shoot him. Let's try to get a good peek this time. Oh. You see, even when I think I'm doing a good peek, if I put it in slow motion, I bet I'm exposed and a good opponent would have a shot on me. For the fourth time, can I make a good peek? There we go! You see, I did not take any damage. Wow, there was no one shooting me from behind. Like right here. Watch. You see that? It's kind of like a little notification or like the map telling you, you suck ass. Work on your peaks because they're not good enough. Boom. I didn't get the walls. Still good though. Let's do a little cone there. Who? Oh, I really missed the shot after the hardest part of trying to avoid taking a bad peek. Come on, man. Hopefully you guys have noticed, though, that, like, the opponent is really low, so all I need to do is just hit him once, and I'm just teleported back, kind of like on Raiders maps. But that's kind of the difference between... Uh, 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 I don't even know what I just did. What I'm gonna do, though, is I'm going to dance. That is how you can get back to the main kind of lobby area we were before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the change difficulty. We're gonna go to the hard mode because, as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted, is the difference between the normal and the hard mode is on hard mode, the bots have 200 HP, we'll do in front, and that actually gives you the opportunity to reset your wall if you don't hit a hard shot, okay? There we go. Oh, never mind. I did not reset it. 42 damage. Okay. You basically have the opportunity to reset the wall. Ugh. Oh, that was a nasty shot. That time I didn't need to. There we go. You see how I... Oh, you see how I can reset if I don't hit 100. Okay. Or 200, rather. The map is telling me my peaks need work. So does my editing, apparently. Bro. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. This map is hard. I do enjoy this angle, though. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, wait. He just broke my peace control. What if I try a little slide? Oh, I think here, maybe I jump. Oh, ah, I really don't want to take a bad peek. Oh, there we go. No, that was not fair. He jumped into my box, bro. And yeah, there we go. Bro. 
screw you! You guys by now should be kind of seeing and understanding how this map works. I guess I'll show the above and below just because why not? Above is obviously you are right above him. Oh god, this might be... I'm gonna do a edit like that. Hey! He broke my builds! No fair! And he's just spamming. Jesus. We'll do this. Oh, that was a bad peek? That was a god peek. Yo! This is cheating! That's not bad for pre-fire. Oh. Edit down. Oh, I guess we're going all the way. Where's this brother at? There we go. I can't lie. Above might be the hardest. Oh. <laughs> ah! There we go. Last one. This should be below, which is actually... I think I can do the below one pretty well. Come on. Ah, and as I say that, I miss. If I didn't miss, I'm pretty sure... I think I would have been chilling. Oh, I gotta think about this one. Oh, hell no. So yeah, that is the movement course from Slyjack. It's really simple, but it's really freaking good for getting better peaks. I actually have to work on a lot of that stuff. And you know, considering I miss a lot of those shots, we might have to move on to the aim maps now. Let's go. I bet a lot of you guys can guess whose aim map we are going to use. It is none other than Raider464, his new aim training map. This just recently dropped, and kind of like the last one, not the last Raider course, I mean the movement one, you only need yourself for this. You do not need another person like in a lot of the aim duel maps or for anything else of that sort. It is just you, yourself, and I guess me. Ah, ah, ah. But this course is freaking sick, and this is what it looks like. It's basically 20 scenarios straight in front of you. Very simple. Now, this is not like a training video of mine. I'm here to just show off the map, so I'm not going to show you all of these scenarios. I'll show the cool ones. But luckily for you guys, Raider actually explains which ones are good for, like, which aspects of your aim. For example, the aim duel arena ramps. It's good for your shotgun, SMG, and hipfire aim. It also has aim assist which is amazing. I think all of them except, what, like three or seven? Less than half, though, do not have aim assist, so all you guys on controller, you could play these maps. And you know what? Let's just start with this one because I already read it off. This is what a majority of them are gonna look like once you shoot. You just wanna grab whatever gun. So this was for, like, SMG. It was for shotgun. We'll take the striker. I'm gonna move them in the right slot, and I'm gonna move this back. I guess it's also worth mentioning that this thing, which is in my hand right now. I think I can drop it. This is how you get back to the main area. You don't have to dance. And the deagle is how you actually pick different things. So we will do a one minute timer. We won't do shotgun or SMG swap just yet, but we'll start it. And all this is, is an angel against like a bot. You're not against another person. What the? This man has weird movement. I also just went to reload and I remembered you do not have to reload. I'm really not sure how much HP they have. Maybe 400? Uh, I think around that. But all you're doing is you're aim dueling a robot. You don't need another person. You're just working on your tracking aim. You can work on your shotgun. Swap back and forth. There's also the option in the menu that does that for you. He's not going to shoot back at you, which is kind of nice. It's also not as realistic because in game, obviously, someone will be shooting back at you. Let's go back to the menu. All of these ones are going to be very similar. They are all aim duels. Let's just do glider tracking, which is for our AR and ADS. Take an off because why not screw the ranger and we'll do another one minute timer we will start and hey look this is the same glider scenario oh my gosh come on there we go the same glider scenario that you used to need another person to do like the person would come out from below you okay he just died somehow raider figured out that you can do it with bots he's just a freaking genius bro i guess i need to work on all sorts of my aim boom Okay, and again, all you're doing is just working on your aim. It's not like a normal aim duel where you're kind of against another... You're not against another person, so there's no score to keep. You're just training your aim. Hopefully your aim does not look like mine right now. God damn. I need to start hitting the Vax. Signal D remote though. We go back here, back to the menu. Which one of these would I not look like a drone in? Maybe the access tracking thin? Take a combat. I think this is basically the thin aiming long from Kovacs. Yep, and it is, except I'm moving. And all I'm doing is I'm tracking. 
trying to stay on the target as much as I can. You know what? I'm going back because I know there's got to be a better one. Is it bounce tracking? I feel like it's not. We'll take the scar though. Oh no, this one's cool though. It's just little robots that get sent up and all over the place. I wish they had the hammer assault rifle. You kind of just want to use the scar for that because it is very similar to the scar. But like Epic just adds these new weapons and they don't put them in creative. How am I supposed to practice my aim and get better with the new weapons when they're not even in creative, bro? <laughs> <sighs> Back to the menu. Oh, I think it's revolving tracking. Yes. Then swap that over. We'll start. Here it is. Look how sick this is. You get pushed around from side to side and have to keep your crosshair right on the center. Try to track it as much as you can. You again do not have to reload. It's going to reload for you. I think I'm on free play and obviously free play. There's just no timer. You're going for as long as you want to until you hit the signal D remote and then you can go back to the lobby. Final few scenarios I will show i want to show one with like an orb let me do this one just because it's random and i oh yeah it's this one this one like it said you want to use your hip fire so you're just gonna transfer from target to target after you shoot it up these guys have like 100 hp you can also run around use your movement a bit i can't lie i thought this was a different scenario is it bounce 360 oh it is this one this one's sick all these bots just get sent up into the air i think they have yeah they have pretty low hp oh uh, I guess not. I'm not hitting hard enough. Oh, you can aim in while you shoot. You could just use your hip fire aim. I suggest you guys to just try all of these maps since they are insane. But, wow, how am I missing just the easiest shot? Die! Die! But yeah, that's the map. I think I pretty much explained everything about it. The only other thing that is worth kind of mentioning is if you're gonna do one of these aim duel maps, what a shotgun swap or the fast shotgun swap is, is if you enable it, or okay, you press turn on, is it's gonna do this. So you see that? It's gonna swap automatically for you, which is just faster than kind of normally having one shotgun and waiting for it to be able to shoot again. Let's do one minute timer. I lied about the last one being the last one. But this is one of the best ways, dear Christ, to work on your shotgun aim. I really gotta work on my aim. Bro, bro, bro. God damn! Well, I guess you know what your boy is about to be grinding for the next, like, week or so. Bro, I lowered my sense too. Okay, okay. Let me go for headshots. That's harder. There we go. If you have god aim, you will look sick on this map. Bro. Guys, I think it's just about time that we, uh, I think it's time we move on from the A map and we go over to something that I'm actually decent at. <laughs> ah! Onto probably my favorite map and the one that a ton of people, including Ken Beans, Jivin, I think Rody mentioned it. It is the OG Lucky or OA Lucky solo endgame map. It's for 40 people. It finally has matchmaking and it is the one that OA Lucky actually hosts on his channel. He does them for money. I think Jivin does too. It's essentially the most realistic and just best endgame you can get in creative. And this one specifically is for solos. So as you jump in this is what you were met with this is actually the old one so don't go to the old one you want to do the new one here's actually the duos one if you want to queue in with your duo or just play duos as a solo i don't know you can meet some new friends but what i will be doing is i'm going to queue up i'm just going to interact play with others public in the 40 player endgame solos map and it's basically just going to throw me into a random 40 man public zone wars oh i think this one i think this is in the last round God damn it! Did I finally get in a damn game? Come on, come on. There we go. So yeah, this this lobby is really not that stacked. What the? There's only like 15 people. I mean, it'll be good just for the example. Maybe we'll get another stacked game after. As you can see though, you spawn in the middle of the map, kind of like you just jumped out of the battle bus, but you do have a set loadout. Oh my God, this guy is getting sprayed. I'm just gonna box right next to you. Make another box. Yo. That guy wanted to smack on my wall. And look at the top right. I have a full moving zone. This is like an actual end game. You know, I'm gonna be dumb and push this guy. Oh. Did he, he just fell to his death. I'm actually gonna slide down since it does go downhill. Oh, I really need a refresh, huh? I'm at 300 wood. I'm gonna pop a big and get in. 
Well, that's even worse. And now I'm really dead. <gasps> oh, he rifted me! Oh my god! <laughs> I have 6 HP right now. I'll take it though, since that just kind of shows you guys. It's literally a real endgame. This didn't even have that many people in it. I've seen these get all the way up to 40. Oh god, don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. No, no, I said don't. I said do not. Do not look up. What's good, bro? Ooh. Ooh. No, <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Can I look at the leaderboard? Oh no, it doesn't show me. I guess I'll look at the map. There's like five or six different locations. So this is this one over here. We spawned like towards this mountain. And I'm pretty sure after every round, there's a new location. How many people are alive? Oh, it's a 1v1. It's going uphill. My guy is Matt. Okay. Oh. Terrible edit. He should have used the It's Sharian peak course from Slyjack, but he didn't know. Oh, and also, this is really important to mention. Once you're done with the round, do not go back to the hub and do not ready up. It's gonna put you in another game, so be patient. It takes like 10 to 15 seconds. Like I said, though, this is as realistic of solo endgame practice as you will get. You have to worry about refreshes. You have to look at your mats. You have to look at zone. Half of these games go to like fourth or fifth moving. There's just nothing possibly better that you can get other than maybe scrims. Oh, okay. Zone pulls up there. I've been waiting for something like this for so freaking long, and I'm glad it's finally here. Obviously, it is normal matchmaking, so, like, the kids are not gonna be just all pros. In Jivin's lobbies and in OG Lucky's lobbies, though, they are pretty good. Oh, these guys are teaming. <laughs> these guys are straight teaming. <laughs> OG Lucky hosts these for money every night, and the kids in them are crazy. Peterbot, Byla, the FNCS winner, they're all so freaking good. And you know what? I'm gonna win this. I don't care. I'm just a solo demon. Hmm? On height right now. Zone pulls across. Oh, we don't like that. Okay, we saved some hard mats. Wait for zone. I'm gonna start dropping a little bit. 60. God damn. Why was that guy challenging me with that? Sprint. Drop even more. That guy died. I guess I'll splash. The kind of annoying part is like you can't really see the deep moving zones where they're actually pulling. I got 200 wood. Oh, that has no ammo. I was about to say, what is going on? Play zone though, we got two flops, we got wood. I need to start moving. Oh, I should not have built. Oh, not a... <laughs> that was round six of 10, if you guys saw. There's 10 rounds in total, most points win. And yeah, that's basically OG Lucky solo zone wars. Other than that though, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna fly in this guy's box. Okay, I'm about to get in, killing the whole lobby. Oh, good evening. He's just harping the complete opposite way to get away. He doesn't know you can't get away from me. <laughs> Max, please don't pull up. Please don't pull up the mountain. Yep, and it does. Oh my! Cone? Cone to get- Last map! Here we come! <laughs> to finish off the video, we have probably the best, and at least my most popular, or like, most played map. It is Realistic PvP by Panville, the free-for-all map. I've showed this a bunch of different times, but like, if I didn't show it, I would just be doing you guys a disservice, since it's just one of the best maps to improve. So again, this does have matchmaking. You're gonna want to run over to like the green one. The other ones, I think they just have different loot pools. Yeah, OG loot. Then this one is 
use everything. I usually do the normal one, which has like the little green border kind of. I'm gonna queue up for that and I'll explain what this area is in a second. This is new. Hey, there we go. I got a game. Let's go. The round's gonna begin. I think there's, there's a decent amount of people, but you get this message, which you can either go straight to fighting by pressing play, or you could press the swap option to change the items. That's gonna bring you over here and you're basically just gonna select your loadout. So I usually do the AUG. I then do the striker because this sucks. Also the hammer assault rifle and the two shot are not in the game. I then also do combat because it's the combat. And finally, I just select these heals. Either way, over here, you can then now start fighting and you're sent into the map that I'm sure you guys have all seen and all love. There's points on the right. You get points for killing people. Oh, there is that new bug, which is annoying. You can see when you first start the game. Full piece. There we go. Look at my crosshair. Look at my crosshair. It's like the pickaxe one. And that happens until you first die. Holy. Can I win around with only the bad crosshair? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna be mean though. <laughs> oh, Max, I'm feeling teed. You guys can see. I played those maps for like 10 minutes and I'm already going beast mode. Oh, beast? Oh, okay. That's not good. Okay. Ah! How am I alive? I'm literally 1 HP. Oh my god. If I get a kill, I'll be 200 though. That's... Oh. God damn! Now I can play with the normal crosshair. And yeah, it is PvP. It is free for all, meaning if you die, you don't have to spectate or wait. You have another opportunity to just, just spawn back in and kill everyone, like this guy. Well, that was not a bad, that was not a good peek, is what I meant to say. I really like this map though, because you can kind of work on your peek. You can work on your piece, your aim, your editing, and it's against other people, which is nice. Bro, this guy just has 44 points. He's crazy. He's killing everyone. Ugh. Mantle. Ah! I thought I was dead. Yo, what's up, bro? What? Where are you going? <laughs> what if I guy? I... I don't know what he was trying to do. And there we go. Somebody won. There are three rounds in total, which is nice. You can also see your score, your damage, damage taken. I run these a lot with my friends, which is cool. Like if you just have four or five people, you can get in one of these and you can just have a ton of fun with your friends. But I mean, other than that, it's very simple. I'll try to win this round for you guys and we'll see if these other maps truly made me full teed. There we go. Edit. There we go. Oh, I'm going demon mode. Oh, no way. My SMG wasn't out. Bro, they're too good, man. I'm losing my lead. Nah, these kids straight up watch my videos. Like, I can't do anything. Remember, good peek. Can't lie, guys. I'm just not winning this. These kids are crazy. Overall, though, these are the best maps. If you grind all of these... Oh. Bro. There we go. Good peek. And it just gets taken. Come on, man. Bro, he's Booga. Ah! <laughs> what is this? These are the best creative maps to improve. And subscribe, like, codes down below. I love you all.